Hi everyone, Cody here. Welcome to the first video of 12,017. Yes, uh, this is a Krugsgret, I hope I said that right, human era calendar. I really like that idea of adding another 10,000 years to the calendar because it makes a lot of sense to start the calendar when human civilization starts. So I'll be supporting this and I'll be writing a one in front of every date from now on out. But really it's uh, similar to using Kelvin, you know, starting at absolute zero, whereas the uh, common scales like Fahrenheit and Celsius will be used uh, almost uh, all the time anyway. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there will be a link down in the description so you can go watch this video. I would highly recommend it. So anyway, I wanted to make this video, as this is my first video of the year, a saying uh, about what I plan to do in the next year. So I've got a little list of things here to talk about. You know, a few projects that I want to get done, uh, some series that I have planned, uh, maybe changes to my upload schedule, and uh, subscriber specials. So let's actually start there. A uh, million subscribers is coming up very soon, and uh, I really don't know what I'm going to do for it. Uh, I have a few things planned. Uh, I was thinking maybe I'll make my own play button again. Uh, I will be getting a gold play button, but I mean, maybe not. And so I decided I'll, I'll make my own, and then if YouTube never sends me the gold one, then big deal. And uh, as it happens, a fan from Greece actually sent me a substantial quantity of cesium chloride here. And I was looking at this, and I'm like, you know, I could make a play button out of that. So that, that's definitely one thing I want to maybe try, maybe have the most deadly play button. <laughs> maybe uh, end up throwing it in the lake towards the end of the video. Uh, so another plan I've been wanting to do for quite a long time is to set off explosions like in a line over a, maybe a mile long. You know, that goes with my uh, theme of doing explosives for all the uh, 10 viber milestones. And I would end up uh, detonating about 10 kilograms of high explosives, you know, at each, but each charge would be only a, you know, a small amount and I'd have them chained and so that they go off as the sound wave reaches them. And I really want to see how that sounds. I have different camera angles recording the sound from it. So another option is to do a, another subscriber special, like a Q&A sort of deal. I'm, I'm still getting questions in all the time, and I was thinking maybe of answering questions that nobody has asked. You know, things that maybe you, you should know about me, but you don't know enough to ask the right questions. So there's that. So you guys uh, go ahead and tell me what you, which of those options you like best down in the comments. Uh, going back to my uh, upload schedule, YouTube has made it so they favor long, regular uploads, which is not really something I've been doing. I've been trying to like increase the frequency of videos lately, but they're all disjointed and people might come see a video and it's a one-off thing and that's all they ever see of me, which is really a problem because like my hydrogen generator video series, the video of me actually using it to cut through steel and producing water by burning it, that got millions of views, whereas the one that actually showed me making it automated and uh, compressing the gas and everything, which I think is the, the better of the videos, got maybe 20,000 views. So there's, there's kind of a difference there. And I'd really like for people to have seen all of it. So. I'm going to have to like uh, put the videos together even either in a numbered sequence so people know kind of to start and then watch through the videos in order or perhaps just put the videos all together and make like a single video showing the highlights or doing both which is kind of what I'm leaning towards doing like I'll have uh, regular uploads uh, doing projects like if I'm uh, working on something and it, it doesn't turn out, you know, I get delayed by a day, like what happened here with the Sterling engine, then I would just say, all right, well, I'm going to end the video there. We'll pick it up again tomorrow, and then we'll try to get it done then. You know, that sort of thing. I would get more videos, and ultimately you'd wait the same amount of time for the, you know, for the full result. And then perhaps uh, later I would make a video showing the highlights and then post that, and that one could go viral, whatever, and then the subscribers would have seen the process along the way. So tell me what you guys think about that as well. Uh, so the mining series, a lot of people have been asking that. Apparently a lot of my subscribers have came over just because of the mining series. 
And so I will be continuing that. Uh, the mine that I'm currently working on obviously is it's not going to be profitable. There's still some things I want to get done. I want to do like maybe you know hollow out an area in there and make like a little man cave. But the problem with that is I haven't really been able to get out there all that often. You know, I've, I've now moved 200 miles away from that. It's quite the drive. <laughs> you know, I, it would only be, I can only go out there during weekends sort of thing. So perhaps maybe I'll do a different mining series, like a, maybe like a season two or whatever, and uh, start a mine a little bit closer here. Maybe I'll file another mining claim sort of thing and just have something a little closer. Anyway, uh, so the refining series. Uh, people have been sending me all kinds of stuff for that. I got uh, more gold teeth here, some iron sand from the beaches of California, uh, some really nice gold crystals, which I, I don't really want to melt down, but I guess I, I, guess I will. And uh, some coats that possibly contain silver, a whole bunch of electronic items. And, uh, and so I'll definitely be starting the refining series up again. I mean, I, I never stopped doing it, I just have been doing other videos. So I'll definitely be doing that again, maybe I'll improve my processes a little bit. I definitely want to start my uh, story series again, because people seem to really enjoy that. Uh, perhaps even I'll share with you guys some of my fiction stories that I've written. So some other projects I've got planned is my hydrogen generator, I'd like to revisit it and make it uh, more powerful. I've already been buying the parts, and uh, that project is actually kind of a keystone project because I'm not only producing the hydrogen, I'm also producing oxygen. And if I have a large supply of pure oxygen, which I can then liquefy, I can power a rocket. So I need to kind of get working on that if I want to do my rocketry series anytime soon. Also, uh, it goes along with my Stirling engine project, is I also want to build a Stirling cryo cooler to liquefy the oxygen. And also, uh, there's a few other smaller projects like a uh, hydrogen-powered cannon, which is uh, something I've always wanted to do, but you know, haven't been able to. Uh, so there's my... I've got, I got a few more mercury videos planned. I just came into a, another large quantity of mercury, so I have more mercury than anyone I know at this point. And so I've got a few more videos planned for that. And so you got that to look forward to. And I'm currently working on a methane generator. It's a project I've been working on for years, but I've kind of scaled things down, and I'm going to use it to uh, process household food waste. I also have some rubidium chloride now, so now I can make all of the alkali metals, which is something I've always wanted to do, uh, with exclusions to francium, obviously, because it's kind of hard to produce any more than a few atoms of that at a time. Another fan actually sent me some glucose, which has uh, been enriched in carbon-13, which I think is really cool because this is definitely going in my sugar collection. But also, does it taste different? The heavy water tasted different. Would heavy sugar taste different? And I'll make a video and find out. Behind me I have a tank with some shrimp in it. I have plans to use those guys in an aquaponic system because uh, I think they're superior to fish because they'll actually eat the leaves and stems of plants that uh, you know, I won't eat. They don't have to buy fish food for them. And uh, along those lines, these fish here are actually the same fish that I used in my aquaponic system from a couple of years ago. I also want to do some like more really big projects like a fusion reactor or maybe even do some things that are like uh, more publicly funded and. Uh, maybe even get some more organizations involved, such as my uh, satellite takedown idea, which I think is actually feasible. I've got some uh, nerds crunching the numbers for me, and uh, if they come out with a favorable result, I'll make a video on that as well. And uh, perhaps I'll even start a Kickstarter. You know, down the satellite. <laughs> yeah, the Evansat satellite. That thing's got to come down. It, it, it's really a problem. What's the Evansat satellite? Uh, it was... It actually would be pronounced better as an Envisat, but it's an environmental observation satellite uh, launched by the European Space Agency. It's about the size of a bus, and it's tumbling out of control in a very bad orbit, because it crosses every other orbit around the Earth, and it's high enough that that thing's not going to decay on its own for hundreds of years. And if it collides with another satellite, which it comes very close to on a daily basis, 
it could cause a, Kessler, a chain reaction in Kessler syndrome and knock down other satellites. And that's just one satellite that I think could benefit from this uh, project I've got planned. So that's all I had on my list. Let me know if you guys had any other ideas, if you have any New Year's resolutions you want to share in the comments. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. I definitely need to mention, though, that uh, the things I've said that I plan to do may or may not happen. I mean, I'm still working on that video where I said I was going to make liquid hydrogen within the summer, and here I am two years later. I still want to do it, but uh, liquefying hydrogen turns out to be rather difficult. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I definitely fully intend to do these things right now. I might do other things, might not do these things. You know how it is.